hi everyone and welcome back in this video we're going to make uh, a route that basically updates an order for so in the last video we looked at one that can update an order fully in this video we're going to be implementing that that updates an order status so let's go ahead and implement that so the first thing i'm going to do is to go to our schemas.py and in this case i'm going to create a schema specific to updating the order status only so with our put with the put method you can be able to delete the entire object but in this case we're only updating we can actually update the only f the the only field that you want to update in this case and that's the order status so let's go and do that so what i'm going to do is to come we need to create a class a pydantic class and i'm going to call this order status model so this is going to inherit from base model And right after doing this, I'll simply put in our order status. So our order status is simply going to be uh, an optional integer, an optional string, I mean. So this will be a string, and it will have a default of. Uh, in this case, we're going to have our order status having a default of pending. So what I'm going to do is to also add the configuration. So I'll say class config. And then right here, I'll specify that we're having our ORM mod uh, equal to true. All right after doing that, we're going to go ahead and also add uh, our schema extra. So our schema extra is just simply going to give us an example of how we are going to uh, do a request to the Swagger UI. So what I'll do is to specify that this is going to be a dictionary. So it will have an example which will also be a dictionary. So this dictionary is basically going to show us which field to pass in. So in this case, what we're going to pass in is, uh, so in this case, what we shall say is going to be that our piece, actually our order status. So this is going to be our order status in this case. So in this case, we're going to pass in our order status and then the default, since the default is pending, we are basically going to say that we shall have pending and after we do this, then we're going to go back to our order route. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is to import our order model status. So I'll say, I'm going to also import order. So this is going to be order status. So this will be order status model. So right after importing order status model, we're going to go ahead and make use of our order status model. So to do that, I'm going to go and create a route for updating a status. So I'll come right here and say at order router. So this is going to be at order router. Then in this case, since we are sending a patch request, so the patch request is going to be able to update only one field of an object. So we shall say order order router dot patch then we pass in the route in this case when you go back to our mini documentation right here we are having that as uh updating the order status and it's only done by the super user so in this case uh, let's say uh, they have received an order and then they have started delivering it so they can be able to change the status to something like uh in transit or to something like uh, delivered that's that's in case an order has been delivered so i'm going to copy the route uh, which is going to be this since this is a prefix so i'll copy it and then go back to our order route so i'm going to paste this right in here so i'm just going to simply call this the id of the order and then i'm going to create a function so this is going to be a sync dev and then this will be update uh, so we shall call this update order status So right in here, what I'll do is to actually specify that our ID is going to be an integer. And after doing that, we're also going to uh, add our authorization dependency since we need to protect this route. So what I'll do is to say authorize. And authorize is going to be of type of JWT. And it's going to also be a dependency. So it's going to be equal to depends. So right after doing this, we're going to protect our route. So I'll simply go and copy this code. We're going to copy this line, this block of code, and then paste it right in here. So this is going to protect our route uh, so that we require a JWT to access it. So let me fix this indentation right here. And right after doing this, uh, the next thing is going to be to uh, get the 
current log the user and since this request is carried out by a super user we shall need to check if this current log the user is a super user so to do that i'm going to get the username so i'll say username is going to be equal to so the username is kept under the subject of the jwt so in this case to get the username we shall say authorize dot get in this case is going to be jwt subject and right after doing this, I'm going to go ahead and query for a user with a specific username. So we shall say current user is going to be equal to, so in this case, we shall say uh, session dot query. And we're going to query for a user. So we're going to query for, we're going to filter for the user with that specific username. So what I'll do is to say uh, user dot username. So in this case, we're going to say user dot username, and if the username is equal to our username, then we want to return the first object with that specific username. So right after doing this, then we're going to go ahead and check if the super user is a super user. So every super user has the dot is a staff a attribute on the model equal to true. So to do that, we shall say if current user dot is stuff then we're simply going to get that specific uh, we're going to get that order and then update it so to get the order we shall then query for the order by its id so i'll say order is going to be equal to session dot query and then we're going to query for order and then we're going to filter by the id so i'll say dot filter and then what i'll do is to specify that we are going to get the id so in this case, we're going to say uh, order dot id, and if the id is equal to the id that we provided right here, we're going to simply say uh, it's equal to id, then we are going to get the first object with that specific id. So right after doing this, uh, what we're going to do is to update this order. So we created our order status model right here. And this order status model is going to help us to validate the data that we're going to pass within our, our actually, that we're going to pass to our API from many clients. So what I'll do is to come right here, and I'll also add the order status. So I'm just going to simply come right here, put this on a new line. Then what I'll actually do is to say that we're going to have an order, and this is going to be of type order status model. So we need to pass in our order status model right like this so after doing this uh hoping that everything is fine i'm going to come right here and what i'll do is to update this order so what i'll do is to say order dot so in this case we shall say order dot actually this is going to be order status actually what i'll do is to call this order to update since to make things uh, not confused. So what I'll do is say this is going to be order to update and this is going to actually be order to update dot order status. Then we shall simply say that that is going to be equal to uh, the order we've passed in right here. So we shall say it's going to be equal to order dot, actually let me, so this is going to actually be order dot order status so right after doing this we shall go just commit a session so we're going to say session dot commit and what we shall do is to just simply return our object so to do that we're going to just come and say return JSONable encoder so we're going to return our JSONable encoder and then we shall return order to update so i'm going to save this so right now i can see that i have an error uh, my lint is showing me an error and i think it's uh so we see raise http exception we didn't close this parenthesis so i'm going to close it and when i close it now the next thing we're going to do is to run our server and test this route so what i'll do is to save and then i'm going to pull up the terminal and i'm going to simply run so we need to search for that command again so actually what i'll do is to just i tried to search for that command so let me just type it normally 
So I'm going to say UV coin main. So it's the main module is what is having our main app instance. So I'll say app, and then I'll specify the reload option. So this is going to basically run our server. I'm hoping that everything is fine. Our server is going to run. So right now we see a special form does not support item assignment. So what we're going to do is to check this. So I'm going to go ahead and check our schemas. So right here in our schemas, you see that actually this is supposed to be a type. It's not actually uh, an equals. We made a mistake because even here you see that we assigned the type and then we specify that it's equal to a default uh, value. So when I save, and our server is going to restart, hoping that everything is fine. Our server has restarted, so I'm going to uh, pull up my insomnia. And then we go ahead and uh, we test this route. We need to go to main somewhere right here. Okay, now, now our insomnia has opened up, so I'm going to create a new request. Now this new request is going to be to update an order status. So I'm going to create this request and it's going to be a patch request. So I'm going to create this. And what I'll do is specify that our body is going to be of type JSON. Now I'm going to add the route, so I'll come back to our code right here, and I'm going to go to the order routes. So what I'm going to do is to copy this URL. <coughs> Sorry for that. So I'm going to copy this URL and head over to Ansomia, and then I'll paste this in. So I'll specify the ID of an order. So. Then I'll also add the prefix, so this is going to be a localhost 8000 slash orders and then slash order, then we're going to specify the ID of that order. So I'm going to basically get a specific order. So let's say we are to get a specific order. So the first thing I'll do is to acquire a token. I'll go to the login route. And then send a request. So this is going to give me access to an access token. So I'll get an access token. And then what I'll do is to go to the get specific order route. And then go to the header section. So I'll put in the token. And send. So right now we see we've got an ID of 10. So basically I'm going to try to update the status of this. So I need to go to update an order status and I'll go to the body. Actually, before I go to the body, I have to pass in the authorization header. Then right here, I'm going to pass in the value as bearer and then the token. So I'll go to the body and right within the body, I'm going to go to schemas and I'm going to basically get this example right here. So I head over to Insomnia once again. And what I'll do is to basically paste in our example. So I'm going to try to fix this. So I'll do just this. So right here, I'll say, let's say we have a, our, our status, like our order status being changed to in transit. So if you look at our choices right here, if we go back to our models, so I'm going to open models.py. We can have our order status as just like you see, we have in transit and delivered. So let's say we want to change this uh, order status to in transit. So I need to just copy this. 
So this is basically the key and then you shall also have the value, the specific value that will be in that database. So when I go to uh, Insomnia, let's say I want to change this to in transit. So when I try to make this order, right now we see detail not found. I think that's because we haven't yet specified the ID. So I'll provide the ID, which is 10. So when I send, right now we see 200, okay? And we're seeing this empty object. So let's try to see. Uh, if we get that specific order with ID of 10, in this case, we see that our order has been updated. So let's go ahead and try to fix these empty objects returned to us. If you've observed, every time we've created an update uh, request, we've been able to, we've been actually getting an empty response. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to fix for both updating the order status as well as for both updating an order. So what I'm going to do is to create a response uh, dictionary. So I'll create a dictionary called response. So this is going to be the response dictionary. And within the, this dictionary, I'm going to specify the various field to on the schema of a certain uh, order. So what I'll do is go to schemas.py and then what I'll do is to basically copy, like I'll copy an example such as this. And then what I'll do for this case is uh, actually I'm going to replace this dictionary with the schema that we've copied. So right now we have uh, this. So what I'll do is to just basically update this with the current values of the order to update so to do that i'll say this is going to be order to update dot quantity and then right here i'll also say uh, order to update dot in this case it's going to be pizza size and then what i'll do is also say that our order status is going to be order to update dot in this case will be order status and right after doing this we are also going to put in the id of that specific order so what i'll do is to come and say this is going to be our id and then i'll say this is going to be our order to update dot the id so having done this, I'm going to come and then return the response instead of our object. So to do that, I'll simply come right here and I'll return the response. So after returning the response, let's go ahead and test this. So I'll come to our insomnia. And right here, I'm going to try to send the request again. So when I send the request, you now see that our object has been returned to us. So I'll do the same thing for updating an order. I'll come and provide the, the same token. So I'll come and copy this token. So I'm actually going to acquire a new token. So when I acquire a new fresh token, I'm, si I'm simply going to go to that to update an order and do the same thing. So I'll go to the same route for updating an order. So I'll simply copy this response and then go and implement it here on order to update. So right here, I'm going to also do the same thing. So instead of saying, actually, this is going to be order to update the same thing. So after doing this, I'm going to go ahead. So hoping that everything is fine, order quantity, ID, pizza size, and order status. So now everything is fine. So when I go back to Insomnia right here, I'm going to go to headers and then change the token right here to the current token that we have. So right here, we have our token. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this token once again. So when I copy the token, I'm going to go ahead to the update and order route. So I paste in the token and when I send this, we now see that we are now returning objects instead of returning uh, an empty object. So in this video, we've been able to see how to update the status of an of, of our orders. We over, we've also been able to see how to fix our uh, empty objects returned to us when we update an object. Thank you for watching guys and if you're new to this channel please go ahead and leave and subscribe to this channel. Please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye.